G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to this week's video update vlog. I shot most of this week's clip about a week ago, but I've been a bit crook after doing my back end, so I haven't been able to um, sit down long enough to actually edit it and pop it up for you all. In that clip I've included a little bit of an explanation on the uh, new aquaponics system we're going to be setting up in the existing hoop house, or we might have to make the hoop house a little bit bigger, but in that general area. And the new system is also affected where the um, chicken pen is going to be, so I also run through that in the clip. And after we're um, done with that we'll come back and I'll show you a few things going on down the back here. How's it going folks? Thought I'd just bring you along for our first large papaya harvest. We've got this awesome fruit just down in here that is ready to come off and you know <laughs> I'm rather impressed with that so this little beauty here is going to sit up on the counter along with some other papayas I've got to take off from the barrel uh, plant this one here will be keeping and I'll give, be giving the others to my dad I'm just going to check the other one down there too because it looks like it's getting a bit of a blush on it no it's just got a slight slight yellowing on it so I zoomed out a bit and here's a bit of a look at the papaya Nice decent sized fruit. The other one over the back there has got a bit of a um, greenishy yellow stripe. I uh, don't know if you can sort of make it out like that there. Um, so it'll stay on for the next day or two and then I'll pull it off. I don't think, uh, up close it's got a really, really nice um, smell to it. I'll take off the few from the dwarf tree, tree up near the back stairs as well, pop them in the basket and give you a bit of a look with the rosellas I need to harvest. I was planning on doing a much bigger update today, but I stuffed my back up trying to pull a clump of weeds out of a wicking bed in the hoop house doing clean up out the back here with Bianca uh, she told me not to she told me to get a fork and I didn't listen and my foot slipped and I hurt my back so I've been laid up all afternoon but anyway we were down the back here we were pacing out roughly where the aquaponics is going to sit and we've decided the chicken pen needs to actually come back about a foot and a half to two foot so 45 to 60 centimeters so I was just editing the clip and I thought I'd give you some visuals to go along with what we're planning down here folks the chicken coop, uh, when it's finished, needs to come back this way or reside about 45 centimetres to 60 centimetres, which is roughly a foot and a half to two foot back further this way to make allowances for the aquaponic hoop house, which I'll show you in a tick. The um, mulch IBC frame, it needs to come out of there or move back again. I've still got a little bit of soil terracing there, but what Bianca and I would like to do is actually run a retaining wall around um, down the back wall there and behind us on our fence line to Pauline to flatten out our yard a bit. I'll be able to um, rig up some dodgy retaining walls for now that we can replace later with more permanent ones. This wicking bed, it's definitely been invaded by roots from the Chinese celtus behind us. Uh, in it at the moment, we have some chop and drop mulch, very hastily thrown there. Some um, warrigal greens just hanging on over the back. And we have a very awesome sacred basil that we've started from cuttings from the mother plant. Um, this plant here is absolutely fabulous at bringing in the bees. So what I'd like to do is take a couple of cuttings from this and try and propagate them and also move the plant itself. And this whole bed needs to come out to make way for the chook pen. Uh, the chooks will also have a smaller run. They won't have as big a run as I envisioned to begin with. We're only going to have three, so it'll be more than enough for them. Uh, plus, they will have access to this back area eventually. Uh, on a daily basis, I'll be able to let them out, but more on that later. Uh, on to the hoop house. So here's a look inside our massively overgrown hoop house, folks. It hasn't had much TLC over the last 12 months. Those large plants you can see there are black mint or Taggart's Minuta. Uh, the reason I haven't been growing anything in here, as you might, if you've been following us, you may have seen the clips on the, um, the roots that have invaded these wicking beds. Basically, they've come from the Chinese celtus and the mango and other trees. They've pulled down the plastic because I didn't make them properly to begin with. And they're sucking the water and the nutrients out of these beds. I thought it was, you know, pointless growing in a bed that is dry after three days with nothing in there. The plan is to use the soil from these uh, wicking beds behind the retaining walls we're building. I figure, you know, the nutrients have all been sucked out of them, so it's not too much of a waste. And they will be replaced by some floating raft beds. Uh, what the plan is, is to have two troughs, one down either side with a walkway up the middle and a little bit of a walk space down either side of the, um, the rafts the raft troughs uh, and what we want to grow in here is just mainly greens just quick turnover greens the fish tank for this system and the filters will be over with the other aquaponics after we move it around a bit and all the pipe work will be under a walkway but more on that plan later and the actual build not in this clip but another clip uh, so 
where this concerns the chicken pen is um, these rafts basically. These rafts are a metre 20 by um, 60 centimetres or 2 foot by 4 foot and the plan was to have them like this in the troughs. Now if I was to do that I'd be claiming probably 2 or 3 metres um, that way of the chicken area so we've made, had a bit of a compromise and we'll probably end up running them like this. What this means is we'll only be um, stealing probably about uh, a metre at the most of the chicken yard that way. We'll just wait for the um, council workers to leave, hey? So now the council workers have passed. Moving the, um, the hoop house down about a metre that way will give me not only a little bit of extra space that I can walk down the sides as I mentioned before, but it'll also give me a little alleyway between the chicken pen and the hoop house. One thing I definitely don't want is those chickens scratching directly onto the grow beds or the, the rafts I should say or into the system um, could cause all sorts of problems down the line. So I'm looking at at least a 60, 60 centimetre um, or two foot walkway so I can get the wheelbarrow down there comfortably. So that's the plan as it stands at the moment folks. Um, I know it's been um, one of those things I've talked about on clips but haven't actually gotten around to doing. Um, you know when, when you keep doing your back end trying to pull out clumps of grass like that uh, being silly and not listening to your wife uh, tends to slow you down a bit but uh, the plans for getting this done the time frame um, the renovations the plans are with the draftsman now so the house renovations hopefully fingers crossed will be done around about June July August and so October November will be um, hooking into the patch uh, that will give me time for next season's um, jade perch hopefully and yeah, to run this system, I'll probably only need about oh, 15 to 20 maybe. Fingers crossed, we'll just wait and see, work out my calculations with the feed rates. And um, the rest will go into the other aquaponic system, which I'll still be running. So there you go. Just thought I'd um, try and bring you up to date a bit about um, what I was talking about when I was um, mentioning moving that there. Just quickly, while we were tidying up, I found some uh, volunteer broad ripple yellow currants that are doing really, really well um, down on the side fence between us and Pauline. The other thing I was going to do today out the front was feed up the wicking beds and plant out some seedlings. That's cauliflower, some mini cauliflowers and broccoli out the front. Also got some bok choy for the aquaponics and I've got a load of seeds I'm going to pop into the veggie pod. And I'm going to use that as my seed nursery uh, from now on because I don't really have anywhere suitable um, around the house anymore or in the house either. Um, space wise for it so that's what I'll be using the veggie pod for uh, but anyway I'm going to stop nattering on I'm going to pick the rest of this fruit I'll give you a look at that and I will catch you through the week so when I came down the back to film I noticed that we have another papaya ready to come off and try and break him off without scratching him in on the back there so there's another fruit we can take up to the house and let ripen up. Just quickly, the papaya that I harvested at the start of the clip, I ate the, um, the small top end over a couple of mornings for breakfast, and the rest of it I sliced up fairly thinly and turned into some um, leather, some fruit leather. And Bianca also popped some seeds in the base of the dehydrator because we've heard that um, dried pawpaw seeds taste a little bit like pepper, so we thought we'd give that a crack as well. Something else I noticed down the back here the other day, we have our first ripe coffee berry on the plant. We've actually got a load of berries you might see up the back there and on a number of branches. So not too bad at all for a two-year-old um, plant. It's just growing in a 56 litre um, root pouch down there. And I noticed there's a little um, ginger that's popped up there in there as well. I, I have no idea how that happened, but yeah, we'll let it go. So anyway, we might be chuffed about that. So I was just setting up the seat in front of these gingers and I noticed we've got a little bud on one of the plants here. So. These are the gingers that are all growing in the, um, the big root pouch garden here. I actually posted a clip last weekend looking at all the different gingers we grow around the place. So you can check it out up there in that little clip if you're interested. Hopefully I'll be able to take a couple of snaps of the flowers as they emerge from the bud during the week. So just quickly folks, those are little seedlings that you saw uh, through the clip. Lizzie wants to play ball. Those little seedlings you saw through the clip um, that I was supposed to plant out. Uh, I didn't get around to doing that this week. Uh, my back has been really hurting. Uh, not only that, we've had to do a few other things like we nipped on out and bought Bianca a new secondhand buzz box. And we've also had a skip bin that I've been filling very slowly as my back allows it. Um, so we can start doing some renovations on the house. Actually had the draftsman around this morning. Thank you very much, John. Our building designer, I should say. And he's given us some more ideas yet again and hopefully we should have some plans to um, show to the builder in the next couple of weeks. 
But anyway, that's pretty much all what's going on here. Uh, just quickly, I've got two clips coming up this week. After this one, I've got one on an aquaponic mishap. The fish were managed to be harvested in time, but yeah, you'll see that in the clip. And the second clip is a very short one, just looking at um, the mushrooms, the pink oyster mushrooms, and also asking you folks a couple of questions. She who must be obeyed has been a little bit demanding, so I've lost my spot. Sorry, folks. I think I was talking about the aquaponic update and the mushroom. Um, I'll keep them about a, a day or so apart so you don't get sick of seeing my face on YouTube. So you can look forward to them during the week. Um, also, before I go, I really do need to thank you wonderful folks who are out there supporting us by watching our clips and thumbing them up and sharing them. Really do appreciate it. Also, you awesome folks over there on Patreon who are helping to support the channel. And as always, you'll find the links to the super contributors down in the description down below. One more, Lizzie. Um, yeah, so if you could go over and suss out their, their websites and their, and their Facebook pages and say g'day, that'd be great. Show them some love. Uh, but otherwise, I'm pretty much all going to leave it there because I don't think the Lizzie dog's going to stop at all. So I do hope you're all well and happy and you have enjoyed this little bit of an update clip and I will catch you next time. Cheers, folks. Have a top one.